Hello dear friends, welcome to my channel. Today's discussion is force on charge moving in a magnetic field. Consider that a charge plus Q is moving inside the magnetic field of strength B. Suppose that the magnetic field acts along Z axis while the charge plus Q moves the velocity V in YZ plane making an angle theta with the direction of B. As the charge plus Q is moving inside the magnetic field of strength B, suppose that magnetic field acts along Z axis while the charge plus Q moves with V in YZ plane making an angle theta with the direction of B. This is the, the figure. Okay, This is a plus Q, this is F, this is V and this is B. B is along Z axis and F is along and V is along YZ axis. This is YZ axis. Okay, this is Y and this is X and X axis is force. This is X axis. Okay, I and V sin theta. This is V sin theta, the projection part. As such plus Q experiences force F along X axis, it is found that the magnitude of the force is directly proportional to the magnetic ma magnitude magnitude of, of strength of magnetic field, directly proportional to the magnetic magnitude of the charge. Ma this is means magnitude of the strength of the magnetic fields means F proportional to B, F proportional to Q. Q. F proportional to Q and directly proportional to the component of velocity along a direction perpendicular to the direction of magnetic field. F proportional to B Q V sin theta. So F equals to Q B V sin theta where K is the constant of the proportionality in SI when B is measured in Tesla Q in Coulomb and V in meter per second the value of K is found to be 1. Therefore if equals to BQV sin theta, the force on a charged particle moving inside a magnetic field is called Lorentz force. Key point. The force on a charge moving inside a magnetic field results due to interaction between the magnetic field produced by mag moving charge which is equivalent to current and applied magnetic field. A stationary charge does not experience any force in magnetic field. A moving charge does not experience any force in magnetic field. Special case. Special case is cases is that when V equals to 0, the force equals to 0 as F equals to B Q V sin theta. When theta equals to 0 or 1 degree, then F equals to 0 as B F equals to B Q V sin 0 equals 0. When V equals to 0, that means the charge is charged particle is at rest and when when theta equals to 0 or 180 degree that means the charged particle moves parallel to the magnetic field if v is v is parallel to b then theta equals to 0 or 180 180 degree in other word a charged particle experiences force inside a magnetic field if it does not move parallel to the direction of the magnetic field. When theta equals to 90, then BQV sin 90. So F equals to BQV. This is the maximum value. This is means that when the charge particle moves perpendicular to the magnetic field, if V is perpendicular to B, then it is maximum. Unit of strength of magnetic field B is equal to F divided by QV sin theta. In SI unit strength, magnetic field is Tesla. SI SI unit of the SI unit of strength of magnetic field is Tesla. So, 
one tesla the equation may be used to define the unit of magnetic field magnetic field field so one tesla is equal to one newton one coulomb and one meter per second one newton per ampere per meter so the definition of the tesla is that the strength of magnetic field at a point is called one tesla if a charge of one coulomb when moving with a velocity of one meter per second along a direction perpendicular to the direction of the magnetic field and experiences one a force of one newton the strength of magnetic field at a point is also measured as the magnetic flux crossing per unit area normally at that point the state of magnetic field at a point is called one tesla if magnetic flux of one one weber crosses on an area of one meter square along normal to the surface so one tesla is equal to one weber per meter square and one gauss gauss is the the strength of magnetic field is commonly expressed okay is this is also used gauss one gauss is equal to 10 to the power minus 4 tesla lorentz force lorentz force is that when a charge q moves the velocity v inside magnetic field field of strength v then force on the charge is equal to f equals to q q v cross b it is called magnetic lorentz force now this is the lorentz force f is equal to q v cross b and this is magnetic Lorentz force. So friends, when a charge Q moves with, with velocity V inside magnetic field of strength B, then force on the charge is equal to F into Q into V cross B. If in additional to magnetic field of strength B, strength B uh, an electric field of strength E also acts then total force on the charge Q is given by by F equals to QE plus QV cross B. This is called total Lorentz force on the charge. The following part may be noted about Lorentz force. The magnetic Magnetic Lorentz force is in the direction of vector V cross B in that is perpendicular to both the direction direction of motion of charge and the direction of magnetic field. The magnetic Lorentz force does does no work on the charge as it always acts perpendicular to the motion of the charge. Magnetic Lorentz force on a charge in additional to the strength of the magnetic field depends upon the velocity also. Whereas force on the charge due to electric field depends on only strength of the electric field these facts can be used to tell whether the charge is moving inside the electric or magnetic field or discussed below if at a point a charge moving in a field experiences force which varies directly as the strength of the field but does not depend upon the velocity of of the charge then the charge is moving inside electric field only if at a point a charge moving in a field experiences force which varies directly as the strength of the field as well as its velocity becomes zero when charge is at rest then the charge is moving inside magnetic field only so friends this is my total discussions of the Lorentz force Lorentz force is very very important for the physics
physics because we know that it is used in various purpose astronomy astrophysics magnet magnet magneto hydrodynamics okay so key point if a charge is moving along the direction of electric field on the magnitude of its velocity is affected the direction of motion is affected when the charge enters the field obliquely another key point is if in a field the force experienced by a charge depends only upon the field and does not depend upon the velocity of the particle. The field must be electric in nature. Thanks for watching. I hope I can clear this total facts.